Hey, everybody. Well, I have some things to say. Uh, this is my MacBook Pro 15-inch MacBook Pro Intel iCore 2 Duo. I got this in 2000 and I think 11 from eBay. I've had this for a very long time. Very long time. So, the hard drive went out. So I'm like, okay, hard drive went out. So when your hard drive goes out, this is what you'll see. See, we're waiting for it to boot up and I'll show you. Because this is what you get when your hard drive goes out. It's taking a minute. But it does make sound, though. You get this question mark. When your hard drive goes out in your MacBook or any MacBook Pro, you get this. So, I got this. And I'm like, well, okay, my hard drive went out. Oh, my God. So then, I opened my MacBook up. Because, yes, I do know how to use computers and fix on computers. So I opened it up. So I'll show you what happened. Okay, so. Hold on. This is this one. Yes. So. The hard drive is in this thing right here. So it goes out. Let me turn it right. It goes out. So. The hard drive goes out. I get that question mark. So what I do is. I'm like, well, dang, my hard drive went out. I'm going to say one more thing. My CD-ROM drive does not work anymore. So there's no way to put the OS on this computer. So, all right, my hard drive goes out. I have 500 gigabyte hard drive. They came out of my PlayStation because I had changed it to a terabyte hard drive. Anyway, blah, blah. So I have this one. And remember, I can't load the um ios on this so because the, the cd-rom drive is out and i know you're right gonna say well you can usb it well yeah i know but um so it went out so this is a good hard drive this is the one that went out but here's the crazy part though let me pull it out though crazy thing though I come to find out this hard drive is not messed up. You know how? I'll show you. I use this USB SATA cable onto my PC, right? And hook the hard drive up to it. I hooked it up. Let me see. I hooked, this, I hooked it up. Let me show you how. I hooked it up and come to find out on my PC that this hard drive still works. It still works. So, I break down, put it back in my MacBook. Still, it's still a question mark. Okay. So, I push exit. I mean, escape. Well, no, no, no. Let me, let me say that wrong. I said that wrong again. So, I put it back in my MacBook. It's still a question mark. Do you know why it was still a question mark? Now, I know some people are going to jump on me. But you got to realize this is an old MacBook from 2009. This thing finally snapped off. I took care of it and everything and did everything right. But this finally had came off when I was trying to put this one, this hard drive back in it. So the problem was with this. Now, I am going to the Apple store. And see what they say and how much this will cost me for them to repair this. Some people say it really, once this breaks, it's really, the computer is no good. Mm, I'm not going to say that one yet. So, because sometimes you could have problems with this and have a good hard, good hard drive. Because sometimes you could have problems with this or this is old and it finally messes up. So, I'm going to see, like I said, make a time to go to Apple and see what they say. If this is going to cost me a lot of money, then 
it's just not getting fixed. <laughs> so then here's the thing I did. I took this, I took this and I'm gonna show you. Let's put the case back together. The screws are not on it because the screws are up front. Ugh. I know I might put the dirty. Let's see, is this the one? Yeah. So then I took this, right? I took this and see, well, is it going to work? So I plugged it in. Say, well, let me, what happens if I USB it? So I put it onto my USB, the USB, and now watch what happens. Now, this is a 160 gigabyte hard drive. Yes, this is an old hard drive. Uh, I don't remember what oh, I got this. <laughs> hmm, I think my music might be still on this. It's taking a minute. Do you hear it? You hear it crackling and shit. You hear the grind and see there it's coming up. Now remember this. I want you to understand something. This is not going to be everybody's problem. Sometimes your hard drive still will go out. Even if this doesn't even break, your hard drive may have gone out. This is what has happened to me because my MacBook is older and moving this a lot had finally weakened it and it snapped off. So you see it has came up. My MacBook has came up. This is from E3 of uh, 2009 when I was out there <laughs> in LA. When I'm living in LA and I went to E3. Well, anyway, 2009. So see, it booted up. See, it booted up from the hard drive using this and stuff. So now what I'm going to try to do is, oh, so what's going to have to try to do is I'm going to try to erase a USB and put all the software, the uh, operating system from this hard drive onto that USB to put it onto this 500. And then, you know, but like I say, I have to first go to Apple to see if they tell me if it's going to cost me a lot of money to fix this MacBook because of this is snapped off and it, it's not worth it. What's going to have to happen is I'm going to take the software off of this, this hard drive, I might either put it on this 500 gigabyte one, or I might break down and buy a portable SSD. You know, so that's what could end up happening. So, if your hard drive does go out, don't try to fix it yourself if you don't know how to fix a MacBook or anything. Don't try to do it yourself. Just take it to the store. Let them do it. If Some, some people do know how to do it. They know what to do. But some people who don't do it know how to do it. Don't do what. You have to have technology, technology and computer expertness to fool with these hard drives. But like I said, because of, I think, age, the aging of this and all, it finally broke off. And I got to now see if Apple can replace it. Like I said, if it's going to cost me a lot of money and all that, I'll just ride it out like the way it is. But I'll just get an SSD one or try to 
cram all the software onto this one. So, yeah, so that's what happened with me right now with this MacBook Pro. Um, I know some people will come and say, well, you should have went this way and that way. But like I said, I have to, uh, you know, but always for some people, if you know how to use a SATA USB, get this. I might have to buy another one to transfer this data to this 500 one or the SSD one, whatever I'll get. To get another set of data one, or I'm gonna try to USB it because I got a USB ready right now. I'm gonna try to uh, see if I can hook it up and erase it and try to re completely just completely format it. I mean, off the MacBook and then just you know, so that's what has happened. You saw, you know, so if you get a question mark, sometimes, like they say, it could be your hard drive or it could be this has gotten older or some newer ones could be breaking off or messing up. It ain't always, always the hard drive goes out. Sometimes this is a small percentage of these will mess up. This one messed up because this was, because of age has caught up to it. And this part just came off. So, well, that's it. If anybody got any questions, leave a message.